Hello Nuggets. Quick one today, because I'm actually late uh, starting the writing, it's 9.30. Um, but thought popped into my head. So last night, uh, I had a bad food night. Um, we were at, Laura and I were at Trader Joe's, and uh, we were eating healthy, we were buying healthy, rather. Um, I'm trying to eat a lot less red meat, um, like way less, like once a week or something, you know. Um, a lot less meat overall, but I'm still eating like turkey occasionally and stuff like that. So um, I'm not eating healthy. I'm not kidding myself, but <laughs> I'm still eating processed fish and stuff like that. But um, trying to actually get my palate to like fish so that I can move on to proper fish, if that makes sense. But uh, anyway, so we're making healthy choices, right? And we were looking at, Laura said, uh, should we get a pizza tonight? As in like a Trader Joe's pizza is not a healthy choice but it's not a terrible choice compared to where we ended up going um so we're looking at pizzas and she often eats gluten-free because sometimes gluten gives her some stomach problems um and she's looking at one and she picked one out and i picked a pizza out and put it down here's the thing my immediate internal reaction was no no let's not do this but she wanted one and i wanted to follow suit and be with her and 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 uh, the name of this video might be how being a people pleaser can hurt you i wanted to please her and be with her and uh, she pulled out a gluten free and we put it in the car and we walked away a couple of steps and then i looked at her pizza and i said you know there's nothing on that because it was just the base right and so we went back to the display and she started looking and we couldn't find one and then she called the Trader Joe's guy over and we started talking about gluten-free. He offered some options. And then while we're talking, at some point she said, oh, should we just get pizza? Meaning, you know, Pizza Hut or whatever, right? <laughs> or whatever. It's always Pizza Hut. It's, a, it's our local place. So, yeah, local, man. Our local time is Pizza Hut. To which I said yes. And inside I said no. In fact, inside I said no, 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 no. But I said yes. And we got the pizza, we ate it. This morning I woke up feeling kind of sickly and, and, and it was delicious pizza. Of course it's pizza. Um, and I realized what was going on in my head. So there's a couple of things here. One is that my desire to please her and to be with her and to be around her made me say, override my desire to look after myself, right? So I said yes to her when I should have said no. I should have said, no, I don't want to do that. I want to eat this salad I just bought. I literally had bought a salad for that night. I bought a Caesar salad, um, which, by the way, is not that healthy. Oh, my God. But it's got to be better than the pizza, right? So anyway, but Caesar salad I was going to have. But the second thing is that it's not her fault. She might watch this video. I want to make it clear. It's not her fault um, because... Those triggers and those temptations and those moments, those are the things you have to be in order to succeed for whatever it is you're trying to overcome, like in my case, my food addiction. Like, I can't beat my food addiction by just avoiding those things because then that's just kind of a, a lucky path. You know, if, if, if I manage to put myself in a situation where I'm never being tempted, I don't think I've beaten my food addiction. I think I've just got lucky. I've just avoided. Because then the moment the temptation is put in front of me, I'll fall backwards. I need to find the tool to be able to say no in that moment, right? So that Laura can say, or whoever can say, like, for example, we can be saying, hey, it's so-and-so's birthday, we're going out to a restaurant tonight. And I can say, great, let's go to the restaurant. And then I can eat healthy at the restaurant and not go there and say, yeah, I'll have a steak and, uh, a, a, steak and a baked potato or whatever, um, or a burger and fries or whatever the fuck it is, right? Um, I'll say, yeah, I'll have a salad, please, at the restaurant. But what happens is inside me, Something kicks in, says, well, this is no longer your responsibility, either because you're here for someone else, right? Or you, you're, you're allowed this time off. This doesn't count for, on your crusade. Or you need to please that person. Both of those are not valid. Both of those are losses in my attempt to discipline myself and they're losses in my fight against the food addiction. 
So I just, I really feel that this morning. And part of me wants to be faced with last night's dilemma over and over again until I get it right. I mean, I failed for the whole, my entire life. So I don't know why I think I'm going to um, get it right now. But uh, I, I kind of like that about myself, that despite the fact that I failed at it literally tens of thousands of times, um, that I still am hopeful that, like, if it happened again tonight, if we were out somewhere and, and Laura said, hey, should we get a burger? That there's something in me that would go, no, I don't want a burger. Or rather, yes, I do want a burger, but no, let's not get a burger. <laughs> or even better... Let's go somewhere where you can get a burger and I'll get my own thing. Because that would be victory. Because when I've done that in the past, sitting there and eating the salad while someone's eating a burger is truly a fucking horrible experience. It's, there's, there's no joy in it. I don't care what anyone says. There's no like, yeah, look at me, look at the pride. I'm so, it's horrible, it's horrible. You want the burger they're eating. Um, but that is the, that's the victory. That is the hurdle. That's the thing you have to overcome. Um... So I just wanted to share that thought today because it really occurred to me this morning. Um, and it also made me realize like this, this, these pills that I'm taking to try and help me uh, to, to stem my appetite, they can't beat my mind. My mind is fucking powerful. It's magneto. This shit going on in here will definitely defeat the narcotics I'm getting from my doctor. So I got to work on this <clears throat> got to work on them uh, hopefully I'm gonna start again today and uh, make healthy choices healthy choices uh, the first one being like that pizza last night just to end sorry this video is getting long that pizza last night not only did we have the pizza but we got that at about I think it was probably six o'clock seven o'clock um, but I didn't eat it all because my aperture is uh, is less because of the pills but I had another slice at 11.30 at night, which is entirely food addiction, right? So that's the other thing that happened. So hopefully, like, I can eat healthier tonight and I cannot eat after 7 o'clock, which is, like, a very important part of what I'm trying to do here. All right, you little nuggets. I hope you have a wonderful day. Do what you said you were going to do. <laughs>